Jangan lupa klik subscribe dan tekan tombol bell untuk mendapatkan video-video terbaru dari channel kami. I think when I'm only when I'm 40 years old, I start to know exactly what I want to do. I never think in my life that I would be a business people. And I never thought I would be a teacher. So I become a teacher, I never thought about it. I become an entrepreneur, I never thought about it. And all of the other, I, I want to be a policeman, rejected. I want to be, all the, even want to be a waiter in the KFC were rejected. Most of the dreams you may think about it, but does not work out. Don't try to be the best, be the first. Be the first to change, be the first to take the challenge, be the first one to overcome the difficulties. Because the best person, there's only one Olympic champion. I don't think I'm lucky enough to be that. But I can always try the new things and don't give up. I believe it because you, you are so unique. Everybody's unique. Be yourself is always the key. This world today is full of challenges and opportunities. 2,000 years ago, full of challenges and opportunities. And I'm sure 2,000 years later, full of challenges and opportunities. There's always, it depends on how you look at. Somebody look at this challenge as opportunity. Young people always say there's no opportunity. I complain a lot when I was young because I think Bill Gates took all the opportunities for the Microsoft, the Steve Jobs, all these guys. There's no job, up, there's no great big stuff left for us. But I think opportunity always lies in the challenges, always lies in the complaints. If you can solve the challenge, You have the you, you will be successful the big challenge you solve the big problem or the the big opportunity you have i think life is a journey you come to this world is to enjoy the life to be happy and healthy so the day when you leave the world and you say i'm happy in my life i'm healthy in this life because if you're not healthy you will never be happy So I believe happy and healthy are the things the human being always looking for. And I think next to 30 years because of the technology, uh, the life science is going to change a lot. And people is going to live longer. And But we, you can live longer, does not necessarily live healthier. So if you're not healthy, how can you be happy? If you live longer, if you're not happy, why you live there?